I'm Dan Tyfair. I'm an Occupational Health and Safety Inspector with the Ministry of Labour for the Construction Program. Today we're here at the Operating Engineers Training Institute of Ontario and we're going to show you some of the things an inspector would look for at an excavation project. When I first arrive at the site, I'll look at the overall uh, site layout. Uh, it's the general condition of the ground, so we can determine what types of soils we're dealing with. Traffic conditions, if it's applicable, if it's road work. I'll uh, approach the site trailer and ask for the supervisor in charge of the project and ask to speak to a health and safety representative for the uh, organization. I'm Dan Tyfer with Minister of Labour. Pleased to meet you. Excavation work is inherently hazardous because there's several hazards that could come up during excavation such as uh, contact with overhead power lines, uh, disrupting buried uh, utilities and services, cave-in of the excavation wall. During a cave-in, the worker can be trapped immediately by the weight of the soil that uh, has collapsed from the trench wall, and a worker has no chance in that circumstance. Now, other hazards associated with excavation and trench work would be uh, outside sources, such as vibration from equipment working nearby. What's the nature of your work here? Uh, we uh, just installed this trench box, we're going to do a pipe repair. Pipe repair? Okay. Before an excavation even takes place, the constructor must uh, ensure that locates have been located uh, for buried services okay, such locates, as uh, electrical or gas. We've got our locate sheets here. And I also have a copy of the soils report for the, for the ground. You must identify what kind of soil you're dealing with so you can apply the proper protective measures such as a trench box proper shoring or if uh, as an option you can slope the excavation walls adequately. Um, we had our tailgate talk this morning. The material has moved far enough away. The equipment is far enough away not to affect the stability. And construction material, spoil material from the trench work should be kept at least one meter away from the edge of the trench or excavation and that is to ensure that there's no extra pressure on the excavation walls. The employers provided you with adequate training uh, regarding uh, trench work safety? The employer is responsible to provide training to all parties at the excavation project. That would include supervisors, workers, and any workplace parties that are involved with the excavation work. Okay, just name some of the uh, inherent hazards when working in a trench. Excavation uh, conditions can change uh, at a moment's notice. It all depends on uh, weather conditions, uh, outside uh, effects such as vibration from traffic from a nearby roadway, equipment uh, working in the vicinity of the excavation. And who is responsible for doing the uh, site inspection? Employers also have to provide a competent worker at the site to perform daily inspections of the measures that have been put in place. Be looking at the ground condition for cracks, or water seepage. This typically would be a supervisor and they would be responsible for ensuring the measures installed are defect free and remain defect free for the duration of the excavation. Pins are in, they're secured with cotters. It's nice and straight, there's no distortion in this area, no cracks. If the excavation work is a trench, at least one person must be outside the trench to initiate an emergency response in the case of an accident. Entering and exiting an excavation uh, requires either ramp access or a properly secured ladder. Excavation work is extremely dangerous and it's extremely important for all parties working at an excavation site to uh, be diligent of the changing conditions and to ensure that proper protective measures are installed at your excavation site. If you need more information on excavation safety, please visit the Ministry of Labor's website or the IHSA website.